Life really is a beach in Miami, Florida, and on Sunday, South Beach draws the crowds for the sea and sunshine, the young and old. Crandon Park was also pulling in the punters for the Sony Ericsson Open, and the biggest surprise of the day came with Grigor Dimitrov's victory over world number seven, Thomas Burditch. World number two, Rafael Nadal was also in action today against Radek Stepanek. As usual, Stepanek provided plenty of entertainment, but it was Rafa at his ruthless best who went on to win the match for the loss of just four games. Here Miami is a special tournament. Uh, for me, all the Latin people are here supporting and for sure I will try my best during the rest of my career to try to have uh, the best week here and try to win. German Philip Kohlschreiber gave world number six Joe Wilfred Songer a run for his money, but eventually the Frenchman's power won through. The toast of American tennis right now is John Isner. This week, the 26-year-old entered the world's top 10 for the first time. But that counted for little in his match against Florian Meyer. Isner was totally outplayed by the German, who won in straight sets. Janko Tipsarevich and Alexander Dolgopolov went head-to-head -head for more than two hours on grandstand today. It was the first ever meeting between the world number nine and number 18, but in the end, the higher ranked Tipsarevich booked his place in the last 16 with a 6-4, 5-7, 6-2 victory. Florida resident and Asia's number one player, Kei Nishikori, also recorded an impressive victory today against Czech number three, Lucas Rossol. Frenchman Gilles Simon was another winner on Sunday. He was given a tough test against Austrian Jürgen Meltzer, but Simon eventually won through 7-6, 6-4. Andy Murray also progressed to the fourth round today without even hitting a ball, after his opponent Milos Raonic pulled out with an injury. So as the weekend comes to an end in Miami, the Sony Ericsson Open is only just starting to hot up.